Hey guys, welcome to Zero Recorder. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to build an APK file or AAB file for a React Native project. To build the APK file for your React Native project, you have to open Google and search Publish App on Play Store React Native. Once you search this, you will find this article Publishing to Google Play Store React Native by React Native Official Documentation. You have to click on this uh, website okay and it will open this after that publishing to google play store you have to do some certain stuff if you're using reactive cli you have to first of all generate an upload key so how we can generate the upload key to generate the upload key you have to go inside the uh, c program files java jdk and inside bin as an administrator okay and you have to run this command all right so first of all let me open my terminal as an administrator so i'm gonna type terminal and i'm gonna write run as administrator yes okay so this is how we had opened the terminal as an administrator view after that you have to go inside this directory local disk c program files java jdk version and bin okay so in this directory you have to open your terminal right so how we can go inside this so you can go uh, by like you know like this you have to just type the cmd if you want to type like, you know click on this and just type cmd it will open the terminal but it has not opened as an administrator view but we have to open the administrator view so we are going to go inside this directory by manually so i'm going to type cd again cd so we went to this local disk c and after that you have to cd type p and press the p so it will suggest the program files after that you have to type j cd and j so it will enter the java directory after that again you have to type cd and type jdk okay so you went to the jdk uh, you know uh, jdk directory after that you have to type cd bin so you went to the bin directory awesome now let me uh, so this is how you went to the this uh, this directory has they have mentioned that you have to go inside c program files java jdk and bin so what we had done like we went to the cd cd and after that we went to the program files and java jdk and bin all right now after that when once we went to the bin directory you have to copy this command so let me copy this command key tools zen key pair something like that you have to paste this command all right so as you can see that uh, let's one more thing so the key store contains single key validate for 10,000 days okay means this key is valid for 10 10,000 date once you enter this uh, you know command in your terminal it will gonna ask you some certain question like enter key store password so i'm gonna write one two three four five six enter my bad uh okay so there's one thing which happened with me like i had already generated one my upload key store file so let me de delete that existing key file okay now after that let me paste this again okay so why this i got this error like because i had already this key uh, tool file is like key my key file is already exist as you can see that okay so i'm gonna kill i'm gonna again run this command you know hit enter and after that it's gonna ask the password enter key to password so i'm gonna type one two three four five six and do hit enter again one two three four five six Okay, make sure you you know have a store uh, you know strong password. What is your first and last name? I'm gonna skip this question. What is the name of your organization unit? Skip this question. Uh, skip this question. You have to just press enter, so it's gonna skip this question as well. I'm gonna just skip this question. Okay. Uh, and after that, you have to type yes. Okay. So as you can see that it has generated in a upload key my upload key file okay so first of all what so for what we had done let me okay before that let me show you guys we had generated the upload key store file so if i search here my upload key store file uh my upload key store file is here visible right so this is how we had generated the my upload key store file but before that let me explain you once more so for what we had done so first of all uh, we open the terminal as an administrator view and we went to the like you know uh, you know first of all we go back to the directory like by typing the cd cd we went to the c directory after that we went to the c pro cd program file cd java cd jdk cd bin and after that we run this command once you run this command we got an error like already exists so we delete the existing my upload key store file 
after that again we run this command okay and after that it asks me some certain question like enter key store password so i just type one to six one to six and i just skip the question by typing pressing the enter 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 and then the last is c and unknown all the things is correct asking man like it is all this stuff is correct i was telling yes it is correct and once i type yes and hit enter so it is stored the my upload key store file all right and as you can see that it has been generated okay now let me close the terminal you can also generate this terminal like you know you can also generate this file by just typing the cmd and just copy and pasting this command okay once you generate the my upload keys to a file you have done almost 50 percent of your task all right now after that you have to set up the gradle variables okay so you have to uh, place the my upload key store file under the android slash app directory so we are having a you know this is the, our project like which uh, the file which uh, this is our react native project and i have to generate apk file for this project so it is telling that you have to go inside the android app directory and you have to place this generated keys to file so we went to the android app directory okay and here i have to just copy this file and here paste this file continue my bad it is has been copied here and which i don't want to be uh my bad my bad okay so again i'm gonna copy this file i have to paste inside here you know just uh, select the debug.keystore file and just con do control plus b it has been pasted here okay so inside the android inside the android slash app my upload key store file has been pasted here awesome now you can also check it out by you know by opening you know uh, there's another way you can also do just click on this right and click like you know click on this uh, debug store file click on reveal to file explorer okay once you click on reveal file explorer you have to just copy and paste it here like here as well awesome so we had uh, done this stuff as well like place the my upload store file after that you have to edit the file gradle.properties or android slash gradle.properties okay so inside the android directory so let me collapse all the file let's click on android and here we are having gradle lot properties file all right and here we have to do some certain stuff let me explain you once more you have to click on android and after that here we can see gradle lot properties file you have to open that and you have to copy this line of code do control copy this and you have to paste it here okay so it is asking some certain like you know here you can see that my upload is to a password so we have to replace with the that password which we had added while generating that my upload keys to a file the password is one two three four five six awesome so we had generated the key store file as well now once we generate with that we have to do some like sign in config to your app creators config okay so that is the last thing so you have to go inside android app build.gradle so let's go inside the uh, again let me collapse all the things let me close this you have to go in android app and build.gradle here you have to do you have to scroll down here you can see that android like default config and sign in config and if you go in inside here inside the sign in config section you gonna have to add release section okay so i'm gonna copy from the release and the first block that this is the e block and the second block that is called release block so you have to copy this code and inside this th sign in config i have to paste this code awesome so once you're done with that like you know what what i had done so far let me explain you so i went to the android android and here we are having build.gradle uh, and, and and inside not here my bad I went to the like you know android app build.gradle not here so let me close like a lot of people mis make a mistake here so what so for what you have to do you have to go android app build.gradle and here inside the sign in config section you gonna add a release section all right now after that you can see that build types inside the build type section you are having a sign in config dot release you have to add a this section as well so let's go to the build types and here we are having a release section okay release block and inside this block you can see this is a debug and you have to make it release 
okay let's copy this code and in the place of debug i'm gonna make it release okay so so far we we had generated we have done the setup okay now it's time to generate an apk file for your react native project so let me generate an apk file okay so how we can generate an apk file let me collapse all the things and let me make the terminal bigger size for you guys so we had do this all the configuration to generate an apk file and now let's generate the apk file so what you have to do okay this is the command like npx react native build mode release to generate the aab file but we are going to generate an apk file so let's generate an apk file for that you have to type cd and android so let's go to the cd android directory and here you have to uh, run a command that is called uh, let me let me show you the command that command is gradual assemble release okay and you have to run this command gradual assemble release okay so as you can see that i will also provide this in a comment section or in description section so you have to go you know inside the android directory and here you have to run this command dot slash gradually assemble release okay so what is gonna do it will gonna took some second and after that it will generate an apk file for you guys all right and if you wanted to generate an aab file for a react native project so you have to copy this command and you have to run this uh, command inside just root up to your project not inside the android directory you have to run this command inside the root of your project i will also show you guys to how to generate an aab file so it's gonna took some seconds so let's wait for some seconds so while it's you know uh, doing running this i'm gonna explain you some stuff like f let me you know revamp this all the stuff what so far what we had done so first of all we opened the google and we searched publish app on google play store we got this article we opened this article after that after that we went to the uh window we went to the, the we went to the cd uh, c c directory after that we went to, like we, first of all we open the terminal as an administrator view and after that we went to the disk directory c program files java jdk version like maybe my scenario jdk 19 or jdk 16 whatever you guys have and after that we went to the bin directory okay we can open this terminal by just you know by typing the cmd here as well or this is how or other another way could be like you know right click here so more options open in terminal okay you can generate the uh, ab file just uh, without the administrator view but it suggested to open the terminal as an administrator view so you don't find any error after that we had copied this line of code and hit on the terminal and it has generated that ab my upload key store file okay after that once we're done with the my upload key store file we have to do the setup of gradle variables for that uh, first of all we uh, went to the android app directory so here we go to the android and here we are having a app and inside the app here we are having a, a debug.key store so i click on this debug.key store and copy this file my upload.key store file and just paste it here okay there's a two ways to paste this file that another way is that could be click on this file debug.key store right click on this and click on reveal in file explorer okay and you have to just do copy and paste it here or you can copy and paste it here totally up to you once you uh, place the my upload key store file you have to edit the gradle.properties properties file and you find the gradle dot properties inside the android slash gradle dot properties so here we are having android gradle dot properties and here we had done the we had added this line of code my upload store file and we had updated the password so whatever we had having a password so we had added that password all right now after that uh, once you're done with the gradle dot properties we went to the this uh, what you called we uh, we have to add the sign in config to your app graders config so for that uh, for that what we are supposed to do we went to the android app build.gradle so let's collapse the, all the file so we went to the android let me close all this file so we went to the android app build.gradle okay and here we had done some setup like you know initially we don't have a sign in config okay let me zoom it out 
so inside the sign in config we had added this release block of code so inside the sign in config this is the release block we had added and after that inside this build type uh, block where we are having release and here we had updated the release at the place of debug okay and after that we had just copy this command like first after that we went to the uh, we went to the cd and write directory okay and after that we copied this command gradu as assemble release and it is generating this a apk file and you can see that see this it's almost 91 percent uh, 92 percent has been done so if it could be you know some scenario what happened now let's suppose some package are not supported or some thing some package is not you know not in that manner so it will throw the error sometimes so it could be also happen so you have to update that package or do some stuff so as you can see that on the screen on on the screen recording the apk file has been generated like build successful awesome let's close the file and let's close all the directory and after that how we can check that you have to go in android app build okay and here we can see that gen uh, and here you have to click on outputs and you click on apk and you can see that release app release dot apk has been generated okay and this is the app which you can use it okay so after that uh, this is how we can generate this apk file all right does make sense to you guys any question on this let me know in the comment section if you guys have any question so once you run this command so what you have to do you have to go you know once it's done once the build has been su successful you have to go android app build outputs apk and here you can see the debug apk and release apk so we need a uh, release apk so you can use release apk and you can test it on your real device or you can share with your friend and if you saw the what is the size the size could be you know almost 61 mb so once you upload on play store it do a lot of compression all the stuff so it become like almost 16 mb or 15 mb okay now we had learned that how to generate an apk file so if you guys have any question so there is a one whatsapp group in the description you can guys join there and let me know all the questions as well all right now another thing which we are going to discuss that how to generate an aab file to generate an aab file for your play store okay so whenever we up, whenever we have to publish the app on play store so we have to generate an aab file for that let me copy this command okay now once you copy this you have to paste this command so it will generate the aab file to upload on play store so let's hit enter so it gonna took some second and it will create the bundle file uh, like aab file is also called as a bundle file all right so it's gonna take some second and it will build that file all right and yeah that's all and if you guys have any question you can ask me i can see that the bundle has been done so where we can find this file so you have to go in android app build outputs and you can see that bundle file it has been generated one bundle file as well all right so this is all how we can generate an apk file or aab file for react native project okay you can test it out in your emulator or real device as well all right uh, so uh, this uh, this is the command i will also provide you in this description and make sure uh, yeah all right i think that's all and make sure to subscribers and let me know if you guys have any question thank you love you bye bye